extreme furniture? When alien armchairs attack? Movers gone wild? Nope. This is a full-size chair at the edge of space hanging beneath a gigantic weather balloon. Okay, that sounds even stranger than alien armchairs. This actually is a TV commercial we did about 11 years ago. The folks over at Toshiba thought a chair floating in space would sell big screen TVs. I know, right, what were they thinking? Well, around this time, chairs on balloons had become something of a fad, some with people riding on them and some without. Now we've flown everything from piles of ping pong balls to advanced research payloads. So we took it on. I get asked one question a lot about the chair mission. Why not CGI? Wouldn't it be easier to computer generate the whole thing? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. They wanted something real. You know, the weirdest thing was that the marketing folks were right after all. It was wildly successful and it sold a whole boatload of TVs. Go figure. There were four chairs in all. We flew them over two days. These flights had a bit of everything. There were even stowaways. I'll share that with you after you see the commercial. The highest chair flew to 110,000 feet. There's one of the chairs at 110,000 feet just after balloon burst. Right after the first launch, a car came screaming out of the desert and then went right by the set covering everything with dust. We have no idea who it was. It looked great in video and the director included it in the commercial. It gives the shot a sense of scale. Watch for it right after launch. After the commercial, I've included some behind the scenes pics. And now, on to the show. Toshiba called the project Space Chair. We got all four chairs back. Two of them came apart, but everything was attached by line, so it all stayed together. By the end of four flights, six months of prep, and two days in the desert, the team was on its last legs. Or at least its last chair leg. All the chairs went with the film crew, except this last leg that was wedged unseen in the recovery jeep. Harris Zamber Lucas, who is the director of cinematography for the Michael Keaton Batman movie and the Thor movie, was on hand to direct the shoot. This is Harris Zambar Lucas. The team had a very hard time not geeking out while working with him on the mission. Launching a chair is tricky. This is how he put the whole rig in the air. We made an entire making of video. I put a link to it in the description below. Now, about those stowaways, there's one secret about the mission that even Toshiba didn't know about. Along with the chair, one of the vehicles carried 14 Pongsat experiments made by students. The only folks that knew about them were the launch team and the Pongsat's creators, the featured astronauts of Boy Scout Troop 188. Great job, guys. I want to send a big thank you to all our supporters over on Patreon. You help keep us in the air. Well, that about wraps it up. Please hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.